Hello folks. Yep. Yeah. Um it's me your boy Tabo once again and um yes, I have good news for you. Um this is the intro to my tutorial on 3JS. Uh, I'm really excited uh, to be doing this. Uh, I've been looking forward to doing this for quite some time now. So now the time has come. So this will be a beginner tutorial uh, for those of you that are not familiar with 3JS. So just in a nutshell to explain what 3JS is, uh, it is a cross browser library uh, API that uses WebGL uh, to create 3D animated graphics on your browser. So I will be just taking you through the basics, you know, of uh, how to create a basic scene, for example, and the different components that make up a basic scene, like your camera, your scene, lights, geometry, and so forth. So without saying too much, uh, let's just jump right in and I'll take you through the basics of what we're gonna be covering. What are the basic features of 3JS? Well, some of the basic features of 3JS are scene, which is used to add or remove objects at runtime. You've got a camera, two different types of cameras, perspective and orthographic. You've got animation, you've got light, you've got materials, you've got shaders, you've got objects and geometry. Now that is just to name a few. Now with a good understanding of how all these different components work, you can create some really interesting work. Now here's an example of some of the things that you can create. Now this is barely scratching the surface. Okay, now moving on to the next step. In order for you to download 3JS, then go to your browser and then type in 3JS.org and it will take you to this site. Okay, so in order to download 3JS, uh, just go here under code, then you click on the download link and then this will pop up. So all you have to do is just save file and this will save it in your download folder. And if you have not yet chosen an IDE, if you're wondering what an IDE is, it's an integrated development environment. Uh, basically, it's just um, the software that you will use to write code on. Um, if you do not know which one to choose, um, I would suggest that you use a Visual Studio Code. This is what I'm going to be using. I think it's very user friendly. Uh, it is good also with auto completion. So I would say it's uh, the best software for the job. And if you're wondering how to do this, then I will show you. Just go to say Visual Studio. And then this already have a link over here. So I'll just click it. But visualstudio.com. And then as you can see over here, you can download for whichever operating system you're using. So uh, you just click download. And then it will take you to this page right here. And then uh, over here, there's a pop up. So this is where you will save the file and then uh, it will be saved in your download folder. And then from then on, you just install it. Well, this is a standard installation so I assume that you are already familiar with the process but that is all that you need to do and what you will need in order to follow along nicely with the course is basic knowledge of HTML CSS JavaScript and Node.js now if you have not used any of these languages then I would suggest that you follow the link underneath it will lead you to my beginner tutorials on the different subjects and once you have gotten the basics of all of these then you can come back to this one and then you can follow along nicely but it is all up to you if you would like to follow along either way do as you please we all have our different ways of learning and one other thing that we will need to download it is node.js since we'll be using node.js uh, to create a simple server then i would suggest that you go to node.js just type in node.js and then it will lead you to node.js.org same process uh, you click on this I would suggest you go to this um, version over here this is the latest but usually it is a uh, beta version which is not uh, which still has some bugs I would uh, suggest that you go for this one which is a stable release so you click on it 
same process you save your file and then once it has finished downloading then you will install it and once you have finished installing it if you want to check if whether it has installed properly then um, you will go to you will open up your cmd and then you type in node and then hyphen v what will happen is that uh, this will show you that it has uh, downloaded properly so it will give you the version of node.js that you have installed so you just type in node and then slash v and this is what you will get so i'm using windows and this is how you do it so this is it for the introduction so now we will be jumping into creating a basic scene so yeah without further ado let's just jump right in so stay tuned <laughs> 